Hello guys, welcome. Uh, so this is system way log. We are going to walk through it. So so how this works? Right, system way log walk through the course. Okay. So how is the system way log environment and why it is used? Right. So earlier you have, you might have appeared right this how you would have done in third year or fourth year right in a BTEC classes or somewhere in understanding of the very log code right you would have a test bench and you would have a stimulus and you have a duty and you would have driven, driven something through duty and you would have collected some information from duty duty is nothing but your design under test right whatever your model is okay you would have written here and you would have driven the values from the stimulus to your design and you've collected some information right by your monitor display statements and you would have checked okay things are working correctly or not so let's say example like c is equal to a plus b right suppose you want to just check the adder values how would you check that you have written the code c is equal to a plus b here that's it right what you would have given, given from the stimulus is like a 10 b 20 and you would have checked that whether c is equal to 30 is coming or not and suppose a is undriven whether c is coming x or not like that type of stuff you would have done here right but suppose your duty becomes complex what would have happened then if your duty becomes complex right this stimulus will become elongated right you might have used you might use always blocks initial blocks multiple initial blocks always blocks but let's say duty becomes too complex like it has the memory components as well as uh, some ram processors and all the stuff right so that this stimulus will be like elongated and one person cannot handle the entire duty right so for multiple people to use it right so uh, we would have we would need stimulus in such a way that you could drive enough things to the duty right so system along environment is one of the stuff which people have used like 10 years, 15 years before. Uh, but uh, presently people use UVM environment. But uh, this is good for your understanding. Like suppose your processor, you need to understand 8085 architecture, 8086 architecture. Then you go for Pentium architectures. Then you go for ARM architectures, right? You need to have the basic stuff ready. So I will be splitting these lectures into multiple parts so that you could understand in a better way and also the lectures will not be too much elongated and it becomes not boring, right? So I will try to make it enjoyable and easy experience to learn, say. So what we will do is this environment, right? You see, there are so many things I'm able to see here. First, I'm seeing this in the top, which is uh, including the test and your DUT and the interface, right? So there is something sitting between the uh, between the test block and the duty block and that is nothing but interface so interface is the one which is connecting the test to the duty right so your stimulus in a way is coming now from the test block so your uh, test block is nothing but like a stimulus block right and this is your duty and uh, test block is driving your multiple inputs scenarios okay in a way your stimulus scenarios to your duty basically right this much is clear right no doubts here right. now in this test there is something called as environment right what what i'm doing in this environment you see there are multiple like blue pack packets and some this packet scoreboard and cover group right but you see the basic one which is going here you see this uh, drivers and this monitors so which is connecting to the interface block right so we first need to understand like what is these drivers and these monitors, right? So you see driver is driving something. So the arrow symbolizes that interface is getting driven by the drivers. And you see interface is driving something to the monitors, right? So this arrow symbolizes that. So this is practically a, a easy understanding, right? This much. So driver, we got it. Monitor, we got it. Driver, we understand something is getting driven to the interface block, which in actually will drive the DOT. Maybe duty is driving something to the interface block and that is going to drive the monitor blocks. This much we got it. From the arrows we got it. Now, next you see this mailboxes. Mailboxes are nothing but <coughs> a way to communicate. Just like you are communicating from driver to interface, right? By these arrows, there, there has to be some communication between the environment blocks and that is going through the mailbox. So we see this mailbox. One, two, three four five six six mailbox so each are transferring the information from one block to the other block okay. this much we got it no problem right now when you're generating the stimulus someone needs to generate the scenarios right so this generator block will going to is going to generate the scenarios okay this will got it we'll take it 
and this cover group is actually like uh, somewhere we need to know right like suppose your things are complete or not how will you know like uh, whether all the scenarios has been covered in the duty or not so there will be some design specifications like for duty he will design the duty as per the design specification so your verification also will get the same design specifications based on the design specification verification guy what he has to do is he has to develop the test and check whether all that conditions are met or not so let's see so simple example like suppose a is equal to b uh, b c right so suppose b is not available what should be the value of c should it be x right so that scenarios you have covered or not so we can do some scenarios by the cover group so i suppose 50% of the scenarios are covered so we will say 50% uh, test cases are passing in a way so 50% scenarios are covered so suppose there are 100% scenarios but you suppose design is not ready example say say suppose 100 per, per, uh, suppose there are 10 test cases right you have decided at the start there has to be 10 test cases okay now suppose your design design whatever block you are designing it has come it has eight features only so that two test cases will not be applicable right so, so let's say one test case covers one feature but duty has 10 features so i am saying that duty has 10 features and you have developed uh, 10 test 10 test cases and you have created 10 scenarios okay to test that and you are putting one one scenario in the cover group so suppose i am saying when, when design is in between right then you want to verify uh, whether things are current, working correctly or not suppose eight features is ready so so when you will verify you will, you will check okay eight features are correctly working or not so let's say eight features are correctly working so you will say that eight features are correctly working two are not ready so in a way your cover group is say, saying that eight things so in a way if suppose compared to the duty when it will be 100 percent ready at least you have achieved 80 percent values right so you have your in a way you can track the designer how much how much things are done right so this is i'm just saying a hypothetical situation right uh, there can be situations where duty is ready and you can fire your test case all the test cases right and you can see oh 100 percent cases are passing suppose something is failing you may say that oh uh, this scenario test case is failing so you may ask designer like oh look onto your test look onto your design you have a fault there so these type of things you can do it right so this cover group you got it in a way uh, this is this is like a it is it is going to build build you it is going to push you that how many scenarios you are covering or not okay generator block is just going to generate the scenarios based on the packets so packets will come and go but this packets configuration you can modify by using the config okay and the scoreboard you can understand very easily that generator is giving some information to scoreboard okay uh, so in a way your reference value is getting given by the generator block so this is the reference value right and monitor is giving something which is driven by the design block so if suppose you can compare the generated value and the compared value you can say oh duty is working correctly or not so scoreboard will say oh things are passing or failing okay so cover group is just to pick give you that how many scenarios you have covered correct and scoreboard is giving you that how, of all the scenarios you have covered how many are passing or failing hope you got it right so this this is clear right so i will stop uh, for now and we will go for the interface in the next lecture thanks